Hello friends, how are you all? I hope you are fine, doing great. Preparations are on toes. Yeah. So ultimately, I have. I hope you have seen the all previous videos of algebra. In today's video, the main aim is binomial theorem. This word might sound a little bit technical. Okay. Because never had such term or expression in uh, let's say 10th standard. It was mainly in 11th and 12th standard. Don't worry. We don't have to go in that depth also. At least some basic minimum knowledge, whatever is required for exams like CAT and other MB entrances. So I'll be covering that much. Okay. Cool. Let's go ahead. Let's start. First of all, the term binomial is an algebraic term. It simply means two terms. Bi means two, normal is terms. Okay. Cool. Sorry. See, the easiest way of writing two way two terms is nothing but a plus b or a minus b, right? Yeah, terms like this, or maybe terms like x plus one by x. These are all binomial. X square minus one upon x cube, binomial. Isn't it? A x plus b y, binomial. Two terms x y plus y z binomial and so on okay now when i say theorem means see first of all the bare minimum thing which we already know is this right a plus b the whole square is nothing but a square plus 2a plus b square isn't it yeah i just expanded two terms so a plus b the whole square means a plus b multiplied by a plus b. Yeah. Similarly, if I write a plus b three times, if I multiply a plus b three times, so ultimately a plus b the whole cube. I'm sure you must have but remembered, you must have by heart it till now. So a cube plus three a square b plus three a b square and plus b cube. Now just observe something. First of all, if you observe the every term and just focus on a highest power of a here was three then it became two then it is one and then in last term a disappeared simply meaning a's power is zero a raised to zero right correct so the power of the first term reduces continuously secondly if you focus on b b starts from power zero then b's power increases continuously so raised to one then raised to two raised to three so at least by this much observation about the powers of A and B should be very comfortable, very, very clear. You can observe the same thing in A plus B, the whole square as well. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Secondly, the coefficients means the numerical terms, numerical numbers, numbers attached with every A and B. So one, three, three, and here also there is one, right? So how I got this coefficients 1, 3, 3 and 1. One way is till now those who don't know much about other logics. One logic is Pascal's triangle, right? So the way we write Pascal's triangle is this, right? Keep writing 1, 1 at the boundary. Yeah. And then add these two ones right in the middle. 1 plus 1 is 2. Then this 1 and this 2, 1 plus 2 is 3. Then again 2 plus 1 is 3 right in the middle. Keep doing the same process. 1 plus 3, 4. 3 plus 3, 6, 3 plus 1, 4, and so on, friends. You can keep doing like this. Now, see, this is not 1, 3, 3, 1. So, this is the coefficient of whole cube, right? Can you see 1, 2, 1 is nothing but the coefficient of whole square, a plus b the whole square. So, if you want to expand a plus b whole is to 4, you can pick up the coefficients from this Pascal's triangle. 
Yeah. So this structure, this thought is called as Pascal string. You can also see in every row the numbers are nothing but the powers of 11. 11 is to 1, 11 square, 11 cube, 11 is to 4 and so on. So this was about powers of A and B. And the coefficient, you can pick it up from Pascal's triangle. But have you thought of a situation? What ex For example, if it is A plus B whole raised to 10, then what? Then what? Then this Pascal's triangle will really be a very lengthy process, isn't it, friends? Then for that level, let's think of something else. There is one more logic attached here. One more logic is there. Check. If I just pick up suppose one term a square b and try to understand this three exactly is representing what a square b. Can I say a square b is nothing but a into a into b? Something like this. Can I write a square b in one more way? Yes. A into b into a, isn't it? What did I do? Yes, I just change. I just change the position of A and B. And what do we call this as? Correct. Bang on arrangements, isn't it? Arrangements. B into A into A. So these are the exactly three ways in which I can write A square B. It means A into A into B can be arranged in three ways. There was a shortcut for this, right? The way we had studied in permutation combination, total number of arrangements for three places is three factorial, provided all three objects are different. But here, two of them are same. That is two ways. So three factorial divided by two factorial. And you can also just for the pattern sake, I'm writing one factorial. Solving this, you'll get three only. Also, if you happen to see, and if you remember, sorry, combination. This also tells you that this is the formula of 3C2 or 3C1, right? So you can visualize, visualize this like this, A plus B raised to 3. So there are three slots. Out of those three slots, I want to pick up any two slots and keep two A's in that. So I can choose two slots out of three slots in three C2 ways, isn't it? Yeah, three C2 ways, correct? This is the bigger logic, friend. This is the bigger logic means now this gives me so much of freedom, so much of liberty that A plus B raised to 10. Suppose, I'm sure you understood that B's power will start from zero and B's power will end at 10. So zero to 10, how many terms? Zero to 10, of course, 11 term. Somewhere I'll get A to the power six, B to the power four. So I just want to understand what will be the coefficient over here. It will be nothing but total number of arrangements of this pattern. Can you visualize this A into A into A into A six times and B into B into B into B four times, total 10 slots. So 10 things can be arranged in 10 factorial ways, but six of them are identical, six A's and four of them are identical, four B's. This is nothing but 10 C4. Out of 10 slots, pick up four slots, give it to B. Yeah. So if you really understood this thing, it will really be helpful for tougher questions also, friends. That the coefficient simply indicates number of arrangements. For example, A plus B plus C, I'm going to trinomial, multinomial, raised to 20. There will be many terms in this. So there's a particular term, suppose A raised to 10, B raised to 6, C raised to 4. See, there is one more thing if you observe the powers, the sum of the all the powers is 20 only because total 20 slots are there. So 20 slots I am distributing in these three terms, A, B, and C. A ko 10 slot de rao, B ko 6 slot de rao, C ko 4 slot de rao, right? Yeah. So technically it will be what? Total number of arrangements. So 10 factorial, but 10 A's are there. So Sorry, not 10 factorial, my bad. Total 20 slots are there. Na? So 20 terms are there. So 20 factorial, 10 A's are there. So 10 identical terms divided by 10 factorial, divided by 6 factorial because there are 6 B's and divided by 4 factorial. There are, there are 4 C's. Now, you can't write NCR because in the denominator, mein teen term gaya. but the thought remains the same. Total number of arrangements. This can be thought of as well. Out of 20 slots, pick up 10 slots. This I can do in 20 C 10 ways, give it to A. And then from remaining 10 slots, choose six slots, give it to B. And from remaining four slots, just choose four slots. In short, there was no need of choosing only. By default, you will see four slots getting developed automatically. Or is Kobi Sol Koroge to end me 
वही एनसीआर के फॉर्मूले से यही आने वाला है ट्वेंटी फैक्टोरियल डिवाइड बाई टेन फैक्टोरियल सिक्स फैक्टोरियल फोर फैक्टोरियल दिस इज नथिंग बट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ग्रुपिंग ग्रुपिंग grouping 20 values in three groups such that in one group there should be 10 terms in second group there should be six terms in third group there should be four terms grouping kiya hai humne bas okay so i hope you understood the coefficient logic second thing which you should understand here is they might ask you one more variation that in this expansion how many terms will be there now understand this funda also see in this expansion if i write every term एवरी टर्म में ए का कुछ तो पावर होगा बी का कुछ तो पावर होगा सी का भी पावर होगा बट वन थिंग रिमेन्स अनचेंज दैट टोटल ऑफ ऑल द पावर विल ऑलवेज बी यस ट्वेंटी इज इंट इट यस ट्वेंटी एंड देन हाउ यू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट ट्वेंटी इसको दे दिया जीरो इसको दे दिया फिर इसका भी शफलिंग हो सकता है देन नाइनटीन इसको दे दिया वन इसको दे दिया जीरो इसको दे दिया इसका भी शफलिंग हो सकता है कुछ याद आ रहा है कुछ याद आ रहा है यस कुछ याद आ रहा है Correct friends, this is nothing but total number of distributions in which there are twenty identical objects to be distributed into three groups x, y, z. So object plus partition C partition. Remember in permutation combination we had done it. Total number of ways of distributing twenty identical objects into three groups, distinct array. Sorry, identical objects into distinct groups. Partition method. Please revise that if you have forgotten. और यही था ऑब्जेक्ट प्लस पार्टीशन दिस बिकम्स एन सी पार्टीशन बुक्स में आपको ऐसा देखेगा इफ देर आर एन सच ऑब्जेक्ट्स एन आर ग्रुप्स तो देर बी आर माइनस वन पार्टीशन नंबर ऑफ पार्टीशन विल ऑलवेज बी वन लेस देन द नंबर ऑफ ग्रुप्स रिक्वायर्ड राइट सी आर माइनस वन ऐसा कुछ दिखेगा ठीक है यस करेक्ट फ्रेंड्स ऑल राइट ट्वेंटी प्लस टू सी टू इज नथिंग बट ट्वेंटी टू सी टू एंड का शॉर्टकट भी हमको आता है ट्वेंटी टू इंटू ट्वेंटी वन डिवाइड बाई टू इंटू वन सो ट्वेंटी वन इंटू इलेवन सो अल्टीमेटली टू हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी वन विल भी टू हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी वन टर्म्स इन द एक्सपांशन ऑफ ए प्लस बी प्लस सी टू द पावर ट्वेंटी दिस वॉज आज इन वन ऑफ द कैट एग्जाम वन ऑफ द कैट्स ओनली इन वन ऑफ द ईयर्स ऑफ कैट एग्जाम ठीक है ऑल राइट या सो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू जनरलाइज द A plus B whole raised to n formula. Okay, I hope you have understood this much logic. Please recap, rewatch. Okay. So, A plus B whole raised to n. You know when n was two or three, we just remembered the formula by heart. Kya tha? Just generalizing this for all natural numbers where n indicates. नेचुरल नंबर्स फ्रेंड्स एंड बिलोंग्स टू नेचुरल नंबर्स रिमेंबर हमने कैसे किया दे बी अ टर्म ऑफ ए अ टर्म ऑफ बी हैविंग सम पावर्स एंड आगे एन सी आर जो भी होगा उसका कोफिशियंट इसी पैटर्न का होगा बताता हूँ अभी चेक दिस ए स्टार्ट होगा रेस्ट टू एन से हाइएस्ट पावर एंड एट द सेम टाइम बी विल बी हैविंग पावर जीरो टोटल ऑफ बोथ द पावर्स विल ऑलवेज बी एन द कोफिशियंट इज एन सी जीरो अब एक कोई भी एक टर्म पकड़ लो बी के लॉजिक से देखो आउट ऑफ एन स्लॉट्स चूज नो स्लॉट्स फॉर बी सो एन सी जीरो वेज में आई कैन चूज नथिंग राइट ऑल स्लॉट्स आर ऑक्यूपाइड बाई ए अब क्या करूंगा नया वेरिएशन के लिए एक ए को बाहर निकालूंगा और बी को इंट्रोड्यूस करूंगा सो आउट ऑफ एन एन स्लॉट्स आई चूज जस्ट वन स्लॉट तो दैट आई कैन डू इन एन सी वन वेज एंड देर आई कीप इट एज कीप दैट टर्म बी तो एन सी वन इंटू बी रेस टू वन सो बचे हुए एन माइनस लॉट्स में ए आएगा सो ए विल बी मल्टीप्लाइड एन माइनस वन टाइम्स फॉलोड बाय बी रेस टू वन आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस सिमिलरली यही पैटर्न चलता रहेगा चूज टू स्लॉट्स गिव टू बी रिमेनिंग स्लॉट्स विल बी टेकन अप बाय ए एंड सो ऑन ये चलता रहेगा टिल यू एग्जॉस्ट ऑल द पैटर्न लास्ट पैटर्न क्या होगा वेन ए ऑल द ए इज गॉड रिप्लेस्ड बाय ऑल द बीज इज इंट इट so if you see carefully every term every individual term follows one pattern acha by the way this is which term first term right this is which term second term this is which term third term so this will be which term yeah i know you will say nth term only habit se padh rahi hai na no problem zero pe one tha did you observe nc one pe t2 hua match nahi ho raha hai because start zero se ho raha hai Two pe three was so of course at n. This is n plus one third term. Anyways, object 
प्लस पार्टीशन ना एन ऑब्जेक्ट विल बी डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इनटू टू ग्रुप्स तो एक पार्टीशन लगेगा सी पार्टीशन तो एन प्लस वन सी वन इज नथिंग बट एन प्लस वन ओनली राइट तो दैट इज आई कैन आल्सो से देर आर एन प्लस वन टर्म्स ए प्लस बी द होल स्क्वायर चेक कर लो आप यस थ्री टर्म्स राइट ए प्लस बी द होल क्यूब चेक कर लो फोर टर्म्स सो एम जस्ट वांट टू जनरलाइज अ फार्मूला फॉर ऑल दिस इंडिविजुअल टर्म्स को एक कॉमन लॉजिक से लिख सकता हूं कि इफ आई जस्ट टेक अप द कोएफिशिएंट तो कोएफिशिएंट इज एनसीआर कि आउट ऑफ एन स्लॉट्स चूज आर स्लॉट्स फॉर बी तो बी का पावर तो आर हो जाएगा देयर आर आर टाइम्स बी विल अपीयर सो बी इनटू बी इनटू बी इनटू बी आर टाइम्स तो ए विल अपीयर हाउ मेनी टाइम्स रिमेनिंग नंबर ऑफ स्लॉट्स आर गिवन फॉर ए आउट ऑफ एन स्लॉट्स आर स्लॉट्स आर बीइंग टेकन अप बाय बी तो ए के लिए कितना बचा यस एन माइनस आर स्लॉट्स यही है वो जनरल पैटर्न जनरल स्ट्रक्चर एंड बाय द वे दिस विल बी व्हिच टर्म यस यहां से पकड़ो अगर ये आर है तो यहां पे आर प्लस वन आएगा राइट अब भी बताया था दिस बिकम्स अ फॉर्मूला फॉर जनरल टर्म्स फ्रेंड्स करेक्ट दिस विल बी वेरी वेरी हेल्पफुल या नाउ वन मोर थिंग व्हिच यू विल सी इन द क्वेश्चंस इफ दे आस्क मी फाइंड द सम ऑफ ऑल द कोएफिशिएंट्स so can i say this is coefficient this is also called as binomial coefficient matlab numerical value attached in every term so if i want to find some of all these only what should i do ek simple sa logic hai here a and b are there so put a and b both of them as one so jab jab sum of the coefficients puchega so put the variables is equal to 1 jitne bhi variable sabko gayab karna hai sirf number bachne chahiye ek hi baat na put variables as one so here if i put a and b as one so everywhere ye bhi one ho jayega ye bhi pura one ho jayega ye bhi pura one ho jayega ye bhi pura one ho jayega so what will remain yes nc0 plus nc1 plus nc2 and so on up to ncn and if you remember in permutation combination we have just remembered this formula and just now i derived so it will become 1 plus 1 hoga na yahan pe beta 1 plus 1 2 2 raised to n all right fir a minus b raised to n ka expansion chahiye to just replace b by minus b ऑल्टरनेट प्लस माइनस आ जाएगा बिकॉज बी का पावर ऑल्टरनेट इवन ऑड होगा ना सो दैट इज ओके सो इफ यू नो दिस प्रॉपरली दैट इज ए प्लस बी रेस्टोरेंट का एक्सपांशन क्या है उसका लॉजिक क्या है कोफिशन का मतलब क्या है वो अरेंजमेंट वाला लॉजिक फिर बड़े बड़े ए प्लस बी प्लस सी रेस्टो ट्वेंटी में कोई कोफिशन पूछेगा नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स पूछेगा वो भी समझ गए हम सम ऑफ ऑल द कोफिशन पूछेगा वो भी समझ गए हम जनरल टर्म का लॉजिक समझ गए हम इफ यू कैन रिटेन दिस मच नथिंग लाइक इट फ्रेंड्स यू कैन अप्रोच सम good enough questions based on binomial expansion all right so yes thank you so much i hope you understood whatever i discussed in this video take care stay safe stay focused keep watching stay tuned